Hey everyone, welcome back. First, we'll be starting off by taking the creases out of my concealer and setting it with some nude eyeshadow. Using the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place, I'm taking this yellow and I'm adding it into my crease. I will be using a big fluffy brush for this just so I can cover a large portion of my eye and also give it that blown out look for my transition color. Today I'll be using this glitter, so I kind of want everything to work around this glitter today. From looking at the glitter, I want to go in with this orange shade and add this in my crease as well. So I want this orange to be right below this yellow. So what I'll do is switch my brush to a more smaller, denser brush so I can get a little bit more precision where I blend and add color. Then I'm going in with this purple shade and I'll add this right on my outer corner. I'll also start blending this in my crease. I'll only blend this about halfway into my crease and I'll keep this purple really tight. Then I'm going to take this dome shade pencil brush and blend out this purple with some more orange and then I'll blend the orange out with some more yellow. Now it's time to cut the crease. I want to take this a little bit above my crease because I do have hooded lids but my eyelids are already so big so I don't want to do it too far up and also I don't want to cut off the gradients that I have with the purple because I still want some of that purple to show in my crease. Using my Jaclyn Hill palette I'm taking this turquoise shimmer shade and I'm adding this to the inner portion of my lid. Using my Juvia's Place Festivals palette, I'm taking this blue and adding that to the middle of my lid. Taking this violet shimmer shade, I am applying this to my outer portion of my lid. I love violet colors and this one is so perfect. Going back in with this purple and blending that in with the violet. Now it's time to apply the glitter. I'm taking Elu Cosmetics Siren Fantasy and applying that just in the middle of my lid. Now for the lower lash line, I'm taking this yellow first and I'm applying this as a transition color. Going back in with the same orange and applying that closer to my lash line. Once I've done that, I'll go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion and add that to my waterline. Going back in with this purple, I'm adding it to my lower lash line with a definer brush and then I'll take a pencil brush and blend that out. And then I'll just keep adding the purple and building the color up until I like it. Then I'll take Tarte's Pot of Gold Chrome Paint and add that to my inner corners as my highlight. Taking Inglot Sparkling Dust in number 2 and adding that to my brow bone. Using my NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner, I am lining my eyes. After eyeliner, I like to do mascara. I like to use the High Impact Mascara by Clinique. After mascara, I'll tight line. The lashes I'm using are these Cairo lashes. I wanted some big fluttery lashes, but I didn't want them to be voluminous. I just wanted them to have some length and just maybe a little volume, but not too much. More on the natural side. To disguise the lashes better, I'll go over it with some black liner. Now it's time for blush. I like this Anastasio Blush Trio. I use the shade Ginger often. I feel like it's a really pretty soft pink color for my skin tone. Highlighting with my Anastasia Amrezy Highlighter in all my highlighting points. My cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Using Sephora's Lip Liner and lining my lips. Applying NARS's liquid lipstick in Slow Ride. I love these liquid lipsticks. I love how it applies. The Dofa applicator is perfect for me. And I love how lightweight these liquid lipsticks are. Then I'll set my face with my Hangover 3-in-1 uh, setting spray. And the look is complete, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I really loved creating this look. It's something new. It's a little different for me. I love how my crease came out. I hope you guys liked it too. If you please can like, comment, and subscribe if you did like this look. And until next time, guys. Bye.